early this morning, I think it was this morning, I got pulled over by the police because my right tail light was out. And I believe while beforehand, I think it was beforehand and maybe when the policeman returned to his car, I think I was praying. I think so. And the police officer returned and was really nice to me. Really, really nice to me. And he did not give me a ticket. <laughs> so happy about that. I think we can point out negative things in our lives, but how many times do we point out the positive in our lives? I believe that is a positive. Now, I could be like, oh, my tail light is out. You know, I may have to spend money, blah, 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 blah. But let me focus on the positive. The police officer did not give me a ticket. He was not rude to me. Let me focus on the good. Let me get to my main message. There is someone <clears throat> I speak to about God so much. You know, the way I teach, I teach people to where you can teach others. I don't teach to where you have to stay under me and wait for my lessons. I teach so you can teach, if you understand what I mean by that. I teach to where you can, I guess, be more confident in coming to God yourself. Because what if I die? What if Uncle Kev dies? Are you just going to leave God and do your own thing? I hope not. Okay. So let me say this then. I think some people, I think I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I believe I teach someone and I tell that person so much about God and how this world is, which how I believe this world is. I think some people want so much good in this life. And you may say, well, Kevin, of course. I think if some people have the choice or had the choice, they would probably want two or three new cars, a mansion, a beautiful wife, a handsome husband. They might want so many acres of land. They may want a whole bunch of gold and silver. They may want so many things in life. That is the thing about it. Would you be able to handle something like that? Would you be able to handle so many blessings? Probably one of the reasons why you are trying to live for God now, 
because of issues. So if you take away your motivation, I guess I can say, your motivation in trying to live for Jesus Christ, what are you going to do? You may backslide, you may give up on God and go your own way. So do you really want so many blessings? Do you really want to be rich? Because even if you are rich on this earth, then turn your back on God, would it be worth it in the end? I am not saying I want to suffer in life, but if getting some things I really want, how can I say this? If not getting some things in life I really want will help me stay with Jesus Christ, don't give me those things, right? If, if God have to occasionally or bring some problems in my life to do whatever, to get me to elevate or stick closer to him, so be it. If I need issues in my life to elevate, I guess I need issues then, right? See, uh, I hope you understand what I am trying to say to you. What you may be trying to do, without knowing perhaps, you may be trying to take away your motivation in trying to live for Jesus Christ. Those issues may be one of the reasons why you pray to God and read your Bible and fast. So let's say God makes everything in your life perfect. Perfect. Would you still be doing the things you are doing now? Probably not. So you need, so you may need issues in life. So you may need problems in life to what? To encourage you to live for Jesus Christ. Please understand what I am trying to say. You may want your life to be perfect. You may want everything to be good in your life but if it was so you probably would not be able to handle it you probably would turn your back on god and go your own way so if you are having problems and if it is getting you closer to jesus christ <coughs> my lord isn't that a good thing Yes, I don't like problems, but if Jesus knows what is good for me better than I, hey, let me go through it. I may not like it, but if it is going to help me, hey, what can I say? Let me stop here. God bless you.